While you can create customized reports in Google Ads to review the performance of your account, Google Ads also provides some predefined reports which gives you quick access to the performance data of your campaigns. Predefined or template reports are ready-made reports that show useful data such as time of day and location statistics. You can also adjust these template reports based on your preference and add or remove dimensions and metrics. To find the report editor in Google Ads, on the left menu, click on Insights and Reports and then go to the Report Editor. The template gallery is where Google Ads provides predefined reports. You can find the data for most of the template reports on different pages and sections of your Google Ads platform but having access to all data in the same place and in an organized way can be very beneficial. Let's review some of the insightful reports here. The campaign's performance report provides detailed information about the performance of your campaigns. Information such as the campaign's bid strategy, bid ad adjustments for desktop and mobile if you use any, important KPIs such as cost, click-through rate, average CPC, conversion rate, number of conversions and cost per conversions or CPA. Absolute top and top impression share data are also provided by default. If you don't need any of this data, you can remove them from either row or column. Rows are dimensions and columns are your metrics or KPIs. You can also add dimensions or metrics as long as they are compatible with your existing data in the report. In the date range field, you can adjust the date range that you want to see the data for. You can add a filter to your report in two ways. First, click on the filter icon next to the date range field and add a filter so you can view data only for your filtered selection. Second way, click on the arrow on any fields in the row or column section and add a filter from there. The reports are shown as a table by default, but you can change the display to see data in other forms such as grouped bar chart, time series, or pie chart. You can download the report in CSV or PDF formats, or you can export it directly to Google Sheets. You can schedule the report to be sent to you or other people's email address on regular intervals. The next report is Ad Group Performance. This is similar to the campaign report, but provides data at ad group level. Search Keyword provides data at keyword level. You can see the performance data for your keywords here. Audience Report provides performance data for audience segments in your campaigns. To get audience data, first you need to add audience segments to your campaigns, which can be either as observation or targeting. This way, you can see if there is any particular group of people that perform better in your campaigns, so you can use those insights to better optimize your marketing activities. Label performance report works the same way as campaign, ad group, or keyword level if you have added labels to your campaigns. Labels in Google Ads allow you to organize your campaigns, ad groups, ads, and keywords into groups. The template reports for shopping products are specific to shopping campaigns for e-commerce businesses, where you can see performance data for your advertised products. If you have a physical store and you have connected your location to Google Ads, you can use a store visits report to see if your campaigns are driving visits to your physical store. 
convergence report shows conversion data for your conversion actions. If you have multiple conversion actions, for example, form submission and phone calls, this report can be helpful to see how many conversions each one is generating for you. You can also add campaign field to the report to see conversion action data for each campaign. Search terms report gives you data on the search queries that have been used by a significant number of users and have triggered impressions and clicks from your campaigns. Remember that search terms are different from keywords. Keyword is the query that you targeted in your campaign, but search term is the query searched by a user that triggered your ad to show. For example, you might target the keyword weight loss in your campaign, but your ad can show because users search for a query like how can I lose my weight? When your ads showed this can be a useful report to tell the performance of your campaigns by day. To make it even more insightful, you can add a dimension for day of the week or hour of the day to see the performance at each day or hour. You can find trends about in what days of the week or what hours of the day you are more profitable. I have another video where I show you how you can use day and time report to create a heat map in a spreadsheet and get more meaningful insights. Distance report shows how your ads perform depending on the location of your business. Does being closer to the physical location of your business help your ads perform better or does it even matter at all? Performance Max Campaigns Placement this report is available only if you run a Performance Max campaign type in your account. This report tells you how many impressions your Performance Max creatives receive from each website domain. What can you do with this data? Well, in fact, not so much, because you don't have control anyway where your Performance Max ads will show up. Auction Insights report shows the competition activity for your account and your campaigns. You have access to separate auction reports for search campaigns and shopping campaigns. This report shows the same data as Auction Insights page in the platform. But having access to this report through tables and charts can help you see the competition activity trends more clearly. In the section for ads and assets, you can review performance data for your ads and assets or extensions. Ads performance report gives you data at ad copy level. Is there any ad copy which is outperforming the other ones in terms of click-through rate and conversion rate? If you use call extensions in your campaigns to provide users with the opportunity to call you, call details report gives data about those calls how many seconds each call took, the phone number of users that called you, and whether the user dialed your number manually or clicked on the call number link on his cell phone. If you use multiple landing pages in your campaigns and ads, the landing page report can be helpful to understand which landing page is performing better, especially if you are running an A-B test for landing pages. Upgraded Assets Report gives you performance data for different types of assets that you use in your campaigns, such as site links, callouts, and structured snippets. In this video, we reviewed the report editor in Google Ads, some of its features, and some of the useful predefined template reports. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and comments, please share it with me. Thank you.